Hello and welcome to another edition of Campus Update. Many exciting things taking place at our school today. For more information on that, we go to our live report. Mm -mm. This is good. Mm. But you may ask yourself, how do I know that's good? And if what I think is good is may not be good for you. How do I know that the world around me is real? Well, these are some of the topics we discussed in Neuroscience for Kids. This unit in January, first part of February, is all about our nervous system. How it interacts with the outside world, how it brings that information in, and how we're able to interpret those signals and store them as memories. At the end of this unit, my class has done a huge project of a 12-page neuron essay, and now that we're kind of relaxing, today we're gonna do a dissection of a cow's eye. So we can see how the brain brain signals in through the eye on the retina, takes that information, puts it into the visual cortex where it analyzes, computes, and figures out all these things, and then stores them as memories. And oh, we do have something very special today. We have with us a human brain. Thanks to St. Joseph's Hospital here in Phoenix and Barrow's Neurological Institute, they've graciously, graciously allowed us to look at a human brain just for a day, but we get to actually look at, examine, and compare that with what we've been studying on the nervous system. So join us right now. Here we go. Oh, okay, what you're gonna, now that you have this part here, you're gonna have to very carefully separate that black tissue from the outer part of the eye. So you gotta kinda scrape it a little. Just take your probe and scrape it away from the wall and go all the way around in a circle. Take, take the black stuff off. You said no, you have to take remove the white it. stuff off. Oh, right yeah, there. yeah, take that off. Oh, this is nasty. You guys going all the way around? Oh, wait, uh, white stuff? That's the second probe guy did. Oh, you didn't get a doctor. You don't do it. There's a little bit of a So. Yeah, get dirty there. It did halfway. <laughs> Yeah. I just pulled that thing out. No, you did. I just pulled this out. Here. Hold on, let her take a picture. No, not with the needle. Not with the needle. No, she's video. Get it with take out that jelly. Take out that jelly. Take that out. I'm gonna go Almost. Almost. Don't be nice. Just pull it out. Okay. It can't be me. Oh my god. You've been doing dreams. You've been uh, watching videos. You're doing experiments. But uh, in reality, what we really talk about is inside the human head. Oh, oh, sweet. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. That's oh, so awesome. No way. Okay. That's real. So this is a, a human brain. Uh, obviously, they've taken out a section here. That allows us to see the ventricles inside. Whoa. You know what the ventricles are, remember? Yeah. 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 They're, they're, what are the ventricles? What flows through the ventricles? The no. spinal fluid. The spinal fluid. The cerebral spinal fluid flows through there to nourish the brain. It keeps it soft and pliable. You guys remember what this is? Oh, that's the Okay, this is not the true color. They've colorized it. So the red are arteries, the blue are veins. And if you notice carefully, on the underside, here we have, what section is this? The cerebellum. Okay, and then what about this? Brain stem. Brain stem. Brain stem. And then it feeds through the whole brain and then it leaves through oh, the wow. system. What are the red things and the blue things? Those are veins. The reds is arteries, the blue is veins. You see the That's colors? Nice. See the darker area? Those are all the neurons, all the surfaces of the neurons on both sides. And so you can see all the folds, they follow the folds. And support cells and nourishment and fatty tissues. Why is it, why is it all like so a tube? Like, I'm sure to determine why are these in holes? 
Yeah. No, I because the amount of surface I, area I that the neurons must have won't fit. So I'm folding like them up. Like you're yeah. creating a paper to put it into a container. So you fold up all the cells into the brain cavity. And that allows the surface area to be a very large surface area. But it's squished together. So that allows them to have Right here. This is the optic nerves, the eyes are going to sit here. They're connecting here and they cross over. Oh, yeah. yeah. This part here would be intact, but this part here would be taken out. Like that girl that had seizures? She had that took one this part, part, this part here was all taken out. This no, I got two questions. And then this half did all the work after that. That is some cool stuff. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Campus Update. I'm Mark S. Allen, and we'll see you next time.